sweet friends. As you can see, I'm in the car. We're gonna go have a sister day today. Um, very excited to do that. Again, I think I'm gonna go to lunch and do some shopping. So I'll take you along here and there for today's trip. But um, I just wanna get on and say hello and um, see you soon. the Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's so cute. Hello friends, just wanted to pop on before we start this haul. Um, I got some Easter things at Dollar Tree, but we had a fun day. Me and my sister, we ended up going to lunch. Nowhere fancy, we went to Burger King this time. So choices in this small town, you know, you gotta take what you can get. So um, they do have some nice restaurants, but we ended up just going Burger King today. And um, then we went to Walmart, got some things there. So I will show you what I um, found at Walmart. And then um, Dollar Tree, of course. So I'll probably combine those two hauls together. Um, I'll do the Dollar Tree and then I'll do the Walmart. But we had a fun day, just spending time together. We went back to her place and just chilled. And um, she's getting a new kitty cat, so. I helped her pick out a bunch of cat things at the store, so that was so much fun. But uh, yeah, let's get into this haul and I'll show you what we found. Hello sweet friends, thanks for joining me on today's video. I'm going to be doing um, a Dollar Tree haul first and then I will be doing a little bit of a Walmart haul as well. Me and my sister went shopping, um, I met her where she lives. And we had a great day. Just love doing that. It gives me just a day away to, you know, regroup, recoup, whatever it is that I need to do and have the support that I need in my life. So, um, yeah, let's get on with today's video. So at Dollar Tree, I wanted to find some Easter items. So Easter, spring, I'm just in that mode already. I know a lot of you are as well. I'm uh, slowly seeing videos pop up here and there, so that's making me motivated. Thank you very much, and I hope this uh, video motivates you as well. I will be decorating soon, and I will be posting that video soon, so um, stay tuned for that. But um, 
let me get started on a few things um, from Dollar Tree. You know, when you first walk in, at least our store or my sister's store, it's it's spring right away. It's Easter spring. You turn a, take a right and it's all right there. Um, I may go down one more time and get some more spring items, but my first item I found was this egg. Oh my gosh. This was from the $5 section, but I couldn't resist this cute little egg. You know what? I think there's a glare, so I'm going to shut my curtain for just a sec here. Okay, yeah, I think that's a little bit better. But anyways, this lights up. You set it on your table, wherever you want your decor. I might put it on my front room dresser or the um, breakfast bar area. But it has a little switch back here and a battery. Um, doesn't have one in now, but it lights, the egg lights up. I'm so excited to use this. Mine is like, they had all kinds of colors. Mine was um, gold. Mine is gold with like little brown specks. So, love it. <laughs> that was probably my favorite item. And it was a last minute kind of find. Then they have these cute little um, yard stakes, I guess. So I got a couple of those. These were $1.25. I just love these colors. Beautiful. I got this design as well. So I'm excited. I don't really put these in my yard. I put them in my planner boxes um, because they don't have anything in them yet. But um, yeah, I'll put these kind of out by my front door. I'm very excited. You could also use these inside your house. There's no reason you have to use them for yard stakes. But um, yeah, these were so cute I couldn't resist. So go get you some. <laughs> And then also the signs. This probably will go. I have an entryway in, uh, from the garage that takes people to my salon area. So I got this probably to set out there, but I'm not sure. Um, this is uh, cute enough to go inside. So yeah, this might go inside, maybe by the front door. This is so adorable. Happy Easter with a bunny in the middle? Come on. Is that not cute or what? <laughs> so, you really can't go wrong with the signs because they're cheap enough. So if they do get weathered, you can just start all over um, the next time around. Um, and they'll have new designs anyways by then. But then I seen this. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this adorable sign with the bunny on the bike and the two little babies. Oh, happy Easter on the bottom that swings. Oh, this is so cute, go get this. Try to find this at your local Dollar Tree. Adorable, this is even the color of my bike. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited to put this one up. This might go right by my salon entrance. Cute. And then, should I continue? Yeah, I'll continue on the Easter theme first. Let me make sure. Oh, I found this too, kind of where I had, they had the $3, $5 section. Um, couldn't pass this up. This matches my decor perfectly. And let me move that tag around. Look at this bunny. It's made out of tin. Made out of metal, some sort of metal. I'm assuming it's tin. But it's blue with a design on it. And little bits of glitter in there. These are adorable. I might go get me some more of these. They had other colors. Because these are just gorgeous. Metal bunny decor, $3. So it's in the plus section. But um, wow. Pretty impressed with that. This is uh, Hobby Lobby quality right here, for sure. So go check these out at your Dollar Tree. So then, I did get this. 
I keep a basic mat um, right at, right before you come into the garage door. There's I keep a mat there that's neutral, and then I buy the seasonal stuff to go on top. So I bought this to go on top for Easter, Cottontail Farms, open daily. Thought that would be perfect for my little salon area. Again, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing like real thick or, but it's doable. Just a little something for decor. Um, like I said, just uh, use it one year and get you new in the next. So at a dollar twenty-five, can't go wrong with that. Okay, I think that was it for the Easter part. But stay tuned, I do have more Easter items in the Walmart haul. But I wanted to continue on. I wanted to decorate or kind of put something over an old cabinet that I have in my craft room. And I will show you what that looks like when I complete it on another video. But they sell these at Dollar Tree. They're peel and sticks. And it kind of, you could use it for backsplashes, um, designs. Uh, walls you can use it on walls and finish uh, surfaces yeah and you just peel and stick them so I'm gonna put these as my middle design and then this will cover the rest of it just just the door where I open it so didn't want anything expensive so I just got a few of each and um, the rest I can just use for other crafts. So, yeah. They have all kinds of different designs of these papers. And if you're wondering the size, they're 11 by 16. And they do uh, fit together well. I, I tried it at the store so the designs line up good. And then, yeah, I think these will line up as well. But that'll be fun. I'll figure that out later and let you see the finished product. And then we have, I'm going to start buying cards. Um, another YouTuber buys cards all the time. You might know her, Crafty Girl. She does a lot of um, junk journaling. So go to her channel and check her out if you haven't already. But she recommends buying cards for junk journaling or any kind of journaling. You don't have to give the card, just if there's something on that card, you know, like the image or the saying, use it to cut those things out and put them in your junk journal or in your scrapbook or, you know, if you're making up a, um, any kind of scrapbook, you can, you know, put the little, so I got this for the, the image of the hearts in the jar. I thought that was adorable. So... But if I don't use it for that, this is a cute sister card. Um, but yeah, for a dollar twenty-five, actually some of these were only uh, two for a dollar or two for a dollar twenty-five. So that's worth it. If you can't find the stickers that you want, the card option would work great. I bought this for the flowers. So beautiful. And like I said, then he always has the cards, too. They're cute cards. This one, oh, this one I bought for the birdies, of course. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll probably cut out that bird or that whole section where the bird is on the flowers and the branch. Love that. So I'm going to take up that suggestion and start getting some cute cards for journaling or scrapbooking. Okay, just a few more items from Dollar Tree. As you know, I always stock up on tissues. I like the Scotty's brand because they fit my, um, is it Scotty's? Let me make sure. Oh, I don't think this one was, but that's okay. I think it'll still fit. They fit well, the Scotty's fit well on my tissue holder. So I just grab a bunch. So I got three of those, and again, I never um, care what they look like because they go inside a tissue holder. 
If you want a good tissue holder, I will link those down below. I have some from Amazon that I got that I absolutely love. So go check that out if you're interested. So then I got this Pure Silk Coconut and Oat Flower. Um, these little Pure Silks are the best in my opinion. I love these. I've been using these a long time. Um, they don't have the full size bottles there, but for me, these little ones go a long way and you can take them on traveling is what I like if you need them. So there we go. There is my Dollar Tree haul. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned. I will have a Walmart haul as well. So let me show you what we found at my sister's Walmart uh, for Easter. Just a couple of items. Um, I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. It is a hanger. Let me turn it around with a bunny Easter wreath, but it's got the metal and I'm into the gold. So this was perfect. The, the ears on it with the circle for the, the face. Um, very sim simple. It was only, um, I believe this was, yeah, only $5.98. And I thought this would be gorgeous in my living room for Easter decor. So beautiful. I love it. Just something simple for decor. I'll have to go back and check her Walmart as well um, as they get stopped. So then at the last minute, I did find this little bunny. I just thought he was a, oh, he broke. Oh, his ear broke. Okay, I'll be taking him back. I think I'm going to glue him. It was pretty, it was a pretty clean break. So I'm going to glue him. So then I found these cute stickers. Like I said, I'm going to start getting into scrapbooking and junk journaling again. Um, I'm also making a Bible journal um, where I'm putting in Bible verses. For references, like if you are feeling anxiety, there's Bible verses that will help you with that. So I want to be able to make a journal that has, like you can flip through what you're feeling and find that Bible verse that will ease that for you. So I thought I'm going to start collecting some cute stickers for that. So I found these beautiful crosses. So those, those were like perfect to go and one says love on it, joy, faith, believe, hope, love them. Also, if you're doing any kind of Easter decor, this would be really amazing. So yeah, and I got these at Walmart and I'm not sure they weren't too much. I think there were only like a couple of dollars. But yeah, go check their sticker section out. I also got the butterflies. I thought these were really pretty, kind of psychedelic for, um, you know, junk journaling, same idea. I could probably put some of these in my Bible journal. So, beautiful. And then, A few more things I got at Walmart. I'm going to start organizing my spices and my spice area back here in the pantry. So I wanted to just start getting some cute little jars for spices and whatnot. So these are the mini jars in the ball. Um, I've bought these before and they're really handy. So they come in a four pack and I think they, yeah, they're around six or seven dollars. So I'm going to get started on that. That'll be coming up on another video. I'll be doing a cleaning and organization of the spice jar area. So, also, I thought to put in some of those little jars, some more salt, so it's handy. Needed that. Here's my vanilla. I might even start putting my vanilla in a jar. I constantly drop my vanilla. Like the, the bottle is so lightweight and when you're using it, when you're baking, I'm almost always drop it. So I'm gonna put this in a more sturdy glass jar. 
And then I got these because these were um, the smaller ones as well. They are, oh, they're quilted crystal jars. Cute. They're, you get 12 half pint jars in here. So eight ounces in each. But these would be good to put, um, you know, spices in as well. If you have a little bit more than usual, you could use these. Um, but we'll see how that goes when I decorate. I just bought a little thing of pepper because I wanted to fill my pepper jar up there um, that I keep on my turntable, Lazy Susan. So then the last thing I got was these 18 pack of hangers. I needed some more hangers um, for my uh, laundry room. I actually hang up a lot of my tops. I don't like them to go through the dryer. Some of them just dry better and make your clothes last longer if you can hang them to dry. So, or even just damp dry them and then hang them. And you know, they'll just wear nicer, I think. So that was my little tidbit for that. But I needed some more of these and to put in my back closet. So I think that concludes today's haul from Walmart. Thanks for joining me. I love you guys. Be on the lookout for the next video. It'll probably be, um, it may be the spice clean out, but I'll let you know for sure on community tab and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.